We've made it to the ancient city of Hatra. Here in Iraq, and it is literally like almost like the Petra, like Petra Jordan, but here. This is over 2,000 years old. This place is absolutely incredible. I can't wait to take you around. There's so much history in Iraq, I swear. Like, I didn't realize how much of even the Bible has crossed over here, and just how like the Persian Empire and the Roman Empire kind of all mix in this one area of Petra. It is just gorgeous. I mean, look at this behind me. Like it feels like Roman times. It's literally in the middle, pretty much of like the desert, but it is absolutely incredible. So let's go check out some architecture. this place and the fact that we just get to walk around we're the only tourists here the city was closed you basically have to have a guide in Iraq it's something I definitely highly recommend without a guide you're just really not going to be able to get into a lot of places we've seen other foreign tourists get denied we pretty much have access to a lot of places other people wouldn't and also you get the stories from the local people there is so much history here that we don't learn about in the western world so much for us to understand that's been going on everything the iraqi people have dealt with which is a lot and so having god here lets you kind of get a better understanding get to see sites like this and walk around somewhere and enter places where other tourists aren't even allowed i held a 2600 year old stone earlier this week it is just mad so definitely highly suggest anytime you're in iraq if you want to come which i really do think everyone should add this to the list is that get a local guide or join a tour it's going to make such a big difference i'm a big proponent for solo travel i'm more of a solo traveler than a group travel person but the experience is unmatched in this case. What's absolutely crazy about this place is that the coalition, so the international you know, military who are trying to help to get ISIS out of here, could not bomb it because it's a UNESCO site and it's an endangered site. So ISIS actually stayed here and there are thousands and thousands of bullet cases all over the grounds. You can actually see in the wall behind me, there are bullet holes all in the wall. It's crazy. As I'm walking in the ground, I can literally just find some bullet casings and pick them right up. They're all over the ground. It is absolutely crazy that you can just see them, see the bullet holes, pick up the bullet casings and they're all still here. And apparently once they got ISIS out of here, they actually had to shovel out hundreds of thousands of bullet casings from here. It is just crazy, the history that is still here. And it's still quite new. Um, ISIS has only been out for I think six years. So it <laughs> hasn't been a long time, but it is just a crazy sight to see. So this right here is actually a famous statue. And ISIS used to have their practice shootings, as I told you, <laughs> some birds up top, practice shootings here in Hatra. And they actually used to use this as a target practice. So you can actually see where they have shot out some of the eyes and they used to use it pretending it was a person to practice shooting. Absolutely crazy. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. We're literally walking around. Some guy doesn't even speak English. Came up and was like, walk this way. Took us through the back door, up on some stairs, and now we are overlooking all of the Hatcher ruins right now. What? Literally insane. A look at this view and the ruins of the sunset. I just can't get over this. I can't explain to you how much 
you guys need to add Iraq to your list of travel places. This place isn't built for tourism yet. It hasn't had tours in literally like 20 plus years, maybe even longer. It's only been open for two years for reason on arrival. They're making it even easier for tourists to come now. And a lot of these places let you get closer to monuments than you ever could in the Western world. And I don't think it's gonna stay that way very long. So if I had to give you a suggestion, I would say, come to Iraq, put it on your list, and get here in the next couple years. Even maybe this year, because like, how can you get over this view and these sights and seeing a piece of literal history, thousands and thousands and thousands of years old? It is just mind blowing. And you guys need to come and add Hatcher to your list as one of the wonders of the world you need to see, because it's incredible. Bye. Beautiful Hatra, absolutely incredible. Well, I hope you've been enjoying the Iraq series so far and I have so much more to show you. So definitely stick around and I hope this is opening your eyes to a country that really deserves tourism and deserves a lot more love, a lot more respect and a lot more just better outlook on than it's been given in the past and what it still has. So yeah, I hope you're enjoying them. And if you guys are liking this content, like this channel, my travel, my digital nomad lifestyle, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join this community because it means so, so much to me. And I'll catch you in the next one. See you then.